Hey everybody, Vaughn back with the next part to Chronicles of a Dark Lord. Episode 1, Todd's Fate, brought to you by MuchGames.ca. Yeah, it's been a couple of days or a couple of weeks since I've really uploaded any of this or worked on this, really. Well, I haven't uploaded it because I'm recording. Yeah. But I'm doing this on the day before my birthday, and you will see it on my birthday. So yeah, I'm soon getting ready, waiting for, you know, Elementary, Big Bang Theory, all the new episodes come out. Because uh, for a couple, the next couple of weeks, there probably won't be any new episodes of any TV shows because of the Sochi Olympics. So, yeah. Anyway, we are still in the tempo here. With the trying to get to the ending where we can use the D to them. I'm um, assuming that we are going to have a boss fight before we do that. Probably in this episode. Uh, a lot of these enemies are pretty easy, and for some reason I just experienced a bit of lag there. Hmm. Oh, no wonder. I'm doing this off my uh, laptop and old laptop, and it's, uh. What's the word? Installing Windows updates in the background, so yeah. Actually, it just finished and I have the notification telling me that it's going to be starting 10 minutes of I uh, 10 minutes. Well, oh, give me a second. While this is... <laughs> uh, doing, oh, fix it. There we go. So I delayed, uh, delayed the updates when we start my computer for like 4 hours, you know. Well, I don't need to delay it by like an hour. I plan on doing like 3 episodes, this one and 2 more today. So... Hopefully we can get the Dean and them put in and make our way to ooh, another bit of lag to uh Valdres. Hmm, that missed. Okay, that was right. Interesting. Missed oh darkness. Uh although this ice attack really doesn't do much in it, so yeah, so that's why I'm gonna I did that. Uh, yeah, let's go. Yeah, and sorry for the lag there every now and then, but, uh... Well, it hasn't happened in the last few seconds, but... Missed! And I bet you I'm gonna miss him. Yeah, because... Poison and... Okay. Now, I'm recording this with a sinus headache. I got a bit of a sinus headache today. First time I had a sinus headache, or any kind of headache in a while, actually. Uh... And we just had a snow snowstorm last night into this morning, so uh, that went pretty good. Oh, ooh, electric hell! You remember that move from I think episode one of this LP when we had the like prologue, pretty much when we first got our power from Hazizus. We used electric hell on Exodus Lee and everything. Well, now we have that. So electric hell attacks all enemies once with lightning damage, pretty much. Or electrical damage, hence the name Electric Hella. So, I didn't open any, uh, any videos today on the 6th of February, obviously, because that's why I'm recording this right now, due to the fact that I want to take a day to myself. Uh, I've been uploading like pretty much every single day since far. Oh, I think maybe, yeah, I think it's added. Pretty much every day I've been uploading like one or two videos, sometimes two videos a day, so. I figured today I'd just take a break, get into some Dark Lord, get a couple of videos done. I did a Final Fantasy IX earlier today, so I have like four, four FF9 videos ready. Um, up to the part that I did today for FF9, I am actually done Disc 2. So, we are, I'm done Disc 2. Um, so, like I said, I have every single character in the game. Um, so... That you can get. So we're gonna go around these you know, teleporters now, and that doesn't know one. Pick up some items, because yeah, each one of these teleporters will take you somewhere. Uh, treasure. We need some treasure. Defense battle. Let's go there. Mm. Don't know how to get that treasure chest on the other side. I'm probably gonna miss that one, to be honest. 
Let's give Pow Vile to. Oh, excuse me, though. I had a, uh, some wings earlier with Zabba. And now, I was kind of hoping something spicy. Well, not spicy. It wasn't actually spicy at all. Just had that for Zabba instead. Hmm. Intelligent boost. And that's it. Oh. Interesting fight here. A half naked girl, a fireball, and a chimera. Man, she is half naked. <laughs> anyway. 999, look at the sapphire's HP. 999. At least everybody's over a thousand HP. That's a good thing. Uh, yeah, that was easy. Pretty much the best thing to do. I don't know. Okay, that's fine. Pretty much electric hell now, or just regular physical attacks on this son of a bitch would probably be best due to the fact that, um... Ooh, oh, we can't put darkness on him and then we killed him at the same time. Hm. Oh, wasn't that good? Oh, cast... Ca pretty much cast darkness with sword. Enemy dies right away. Um... <laughs> uh, we don't need to use the other one. Well, we need some healing. But, damn it! Ooh, have I faced you guys before? I don't think so. Um, what device? This one again. Probably an electric hell. Oh, not electric hell, um, shockwave, but I didn't have to use it. Zero, you did nothing in this battle. Oh, you didn't. Ah, a couple of chimeras, or whatever chimeras we're gonna call them. I call them chimeras. Electric hell. Yay! Don't miss. Thank you. That guy's dead. Whoa! Just a small heal. Keep her alive. Because I don't think she's going to die. To be honest. Um, Shrike is probably better. Ooh, maybe a bit of lag. I don't know why it's lagging. Because it's plugged in and everything. Hm. And the updates have been done. It's just... Ooh, Wrath. Wrath is a good attack. Um, from what I've seen in Bonga's LP. And other people... Is a, well, Bonga's LP mainly. Wrath is actually good, and I think it will help us along for the next little while, especially I think what's upcoming in this particular dungeon. Um, actually, no, don't go that way. That's a dead end, I do believe. Hmm. Fury. Three eleven. Yeah, we'll do that. Heal. So as my commentary is nip it off. Like I said, I do have a bit of a sinus headache, you know, while doing this. Uh, maybe I should have just rest it, but I want to get some dark hold on because it's been a couple of weeks, so. I'm probably going to get it done. Uh, probably tomorrow my birthday I'll uh, record uh, Rayman. Second video of Rayman. I plan on getting a couple of videos of this one done. Like three, like I said, about three of them. And I have like four FF9s. And they don't have that, so I have a little bit of a stockpile of some videos. Um, yeah, let's get that treasure chest and then go to the right, I believe. Oh, okay. I think we're almost to the boss of this area, to be honest. Um, it should be coming up soon. I think once we use that telepod, actually, we'll be at the boss. So this probably won't be a lengthy video, it'll probably be between 15 and 20 minutes. That's why I try to make my videos lately. Um, to be honest, sometimes with my Final Fantasy videos, I record like a video that's like 40 minutes. 35, 40 minutes, and then I break it into two parts. And just break it at a certain point. That it doesn't mess up the commentary. Like I'll go to a certain point and I'll be like, see you in the next part. And then I'll just pause the video for a second and then 
resume it again and with the same video and just say hey everybody back and then just edit it so that it makes it not seem that it's one bit of video that I just continue talking I break it up into two parts so yeah, sometimes, sometimes I'll just do a 20 minute video and then uh, stop the video there and then start again at the next part usually that's how I did it uh, like I said we're here we should use a crystal shard probably save our game and I would say we're going to have a boss battle it just has that feeling uh, maybe I should make a fourth save yeah, I'm gonna, uh, did I save correctly? Okay, I did. That's why it doesn't confirm that you saved, like Final Fantasy. Um, I'm really looking forward to Dark Lord Episode 2. That's gonna be cool. Oh, another Dark Sister. This is the third one. So this one's obviously gonna be fire oriented. <laughs> Pirate the Dark Sister. She's <laughs> higher than that one. Hmm. Sapphire. <laughs> what? I thought it was fitting. <laughs> I love Sapphire. Tempest. Exactly. Well, they were amateurs. We kicked their ass. Sorry. You just, yep, made the same thing. So, this one here, what you want to do is pretty much use, uh, wait, Magus, you want to use. Uh, what is it that you want to use again? Yeah, Electric Hell. You want to use Electric Hell a lot. Uh, with Zuria, you want to use Wrath. Uh, yeah, Wrath is a. Yeah, you want to use Wrath. Uh, pretty much with Isis, you want to kind of heal a lot with her and defend. And with Sapphire, pretty much you just want to spam. Uh, for that, you know, whatever the hell it's called, the strongest ice attack we have right now. I think with uh, Isis, I'm just going to probably uh, physical attack at this point because she didn't damage us. So, yeah. And it takes a few minutes to get this ice attack to go. 1957. So, this one here, she can do like. Uh, Insect, which is multi target. She can single target someone, and then she has a really powerful one I think called Inferno that targets like everybody. So, like I said, you want to use a lot of curing here with uh, Iris or Isis, Isis or, I or whatever you want to call it. I call it Isis, but it could be Iris, so I don't care. Anyway, you want to heal all the time with her, pretty much electric hell with Magus, or throw in a wrath, and then ice attack. And we just repeat the process and keep yourself healed. If you find that you're getting low on MP, you can probably just switch between mages or sapphire and have them heal someone's MP. Um, that's what I would do. And just constantly do that. Make sure that you're keeping up on your healing though. And pretty much every single time you can with Zeria, use that freaking wrath attack. Uh, doing this, this battle will be pretty straightforward and pretty simple unless you miss a step and screw yourself over. Um, other than that, keep doing the strategy that I find that works very good. Um, I just practice it myself and kind of in another file. Oh, I never even saved it, I just kept going. And when I got to the boss, I just kind of, oh, there's that powerful attack. Um, so, you know, yeah, this will be perfect. So I just tried that and kept on trying different strategies and I found that uh, this strategy worked the best. Um, so I mean that will, um, you know, ensure a victory. You know, it's, you know, I guess you could mess up and, uh, you know, she might double attack or something or catch you off guard, but as long as you're doing something like this and things like that, you should have no worries with this battle. Uh, Leonard Electric Hella. 
Oops, whoops, didn't mean to go battle escape. Uh, wrath sure suffice. Uh, I have enough for one more wrath before I have to heal Zero's MP. Maybe I shouldn't do that. Um, and heal the MP. Um, yeah, I'm just gonna do that. It might be overkill, but at least it keeps us protected just in case she does that big attack. She's only done it once. So, that's kind You know what? Let's heal with the midi throw, I do believe. Uh, do I have any? I should have about seven of them. Oh, I got eight. Um, yeah. And then we'll do this final. This whole, this might be the final attack, actually. Wrath. Oh, seventeen seventy-seven. Got it. Perfect. So, like I said, not hard at all. We want too easy, to be honest. Uh, so yeah, just improve that strategy, and you should be fine with um, dealing with her. Uh, ooh, Tornado Fury, that's a strong, really strong wind attack, oh, I do believe. Obviously, well, Tornado would be wind. For that, we get a Mega Potion and a Power Vial. The Power Vial, I will probably give the Mages. Uh, and that Dark Sister is now done, so now we can finally put the Inferno Dinadem in this altar. I hate saunas. Saunas, I say, kind of just throw off your eating habits and, like, Constantly, I'd be drinking liquids like water and stuff like that. Kind of get, you know. And what a, what a way to get that too, you know. The day before your birthday, you get like a sinus, a sinus headaches. But apparently, my mom and dad both woke up with sinus headaches this morning too, so there was a gone, but mine tended to stay around. So let's continue here with the turtle. Now, I'm not even controlling the character, by the way. He's just going to. Anyway, I'm going to stop the video here. And in the next part, we are going to continue on with this conversation. Thanks for watching, guys, and see you all in the next part. Peace out.